The measurement of flow content is extremely important in the oil and gas industry because it determines taxes at wellheads, the selling and purchase of oil at pipelines, and also assists in maintaining well performance. Proper measurement in water percentage analyzers is a must and can only be correctly obtained when considerations for the flow are taken into account. Good results cannot be had when the area of measurement is half full of water and half full of oil because the signal will reflect off of one or the other, creating false images of water percentage. Correct installation of the analyzer is essential to the precision of measurement, and with the costs of installation today normally exceeding the price of the analyzer, it is very important to get it right the first time. Since it is difficult to visualize what is going on inside crude oil pipelines, we have designed this video to assist you in your understanding. First of all, to achieve good measurement, three criteria must be met. You have a capable analyzer. You present it with well-mixed oil and water. And you have a means to validate the measurement with proper sampling and laboratory techniques. Position in the line. In typical installations, you need a velocity that is greater than two feet per second, so there will be enough mixing to assure that the analyzer will see homogeneous oil and water in the analyzer. In this situation, there are typically no issues in mounting, though it's always preferred that the analyzer is not the highest or the lowest place in any line. To demonstrate what happens with oil and water mixes as the velocity changes, the video will demonstrate this in three planes. If the emulsion is flowing horizontally, then at low flow the oil water will separate into two distinct layers. When the velocity is less than two feet per second, the water will build up at the bottom of the pipe until it begins to flow along with the water, and the analyzer will see a relatively consistent mixture. When the liquids are flowing upward, the mixing maintains a relatively dispersed oil-water mixture if the analyzer is not at the bottom or top of the change in horizontal plane. This position prevents the accumulation of water at the bottom and gas or oil at the top portions of the vertical pipe. If the piping goes upward and then horizontally parallel to the ground, then takes a turn downward, the flow of the oil and water becomes like a waterfall. The water, which may have separated, will fall downward, taking the oil with it. Again in this fashion, the emulsion becomes mixed enough that the phase dynamics analyzer sees it mixed. This is not true with other water analyzer systems, which either have several small probes in the main stream or are measuring across a very small gap of less than one quarter of an inch. The phase dynamics analyzer actually measures across the cross section of the pipe and the length of the antenna. This is important because only a full cross sectional measurement can tell the real story and show the big picture. Issues of water or oil staying on the side of the pipe at low flow. Oil and water can wet or stick to the inside of the pipe depending upon the type of steel and the corrosion within the walls. Here is an example of how water and oil is sticking to the inner wall and maintaining a stationary position. This is in spite of the fact that the fluids are flowing at a reasonable rate. Water and oil each have special properties which allow them to resist the movement and cling to the wall. Elbows normal and high flow. If the oil-water emulsion is flowing at high enough velocity to have momentum that will separate the heavier water from the oil, then the elbow itself can become a separator. This will potentially upset the mixture and create larger emulsion sizes and areas of pure water and oil. In other analyzers, this makes the measurement even more difficult as it sees these small pockets as the real thing. If the elbow is at the top of the loop and the flow is reduced enough that gas starts to accumulate, it can be seen that the gas will begin to occupy the top portion of the line. If an analyzer was placed there, it would be seeing three phases, gas, oil, water, and the resulting answers would not be acceptable. Let us consider the case where the analyzer was vertical flowing down and not in the highest or lowest position. The gas begins to accumulate until the top of the line and all the way down the analyzer was gas filled. Now the fluids begin to flow, but at a slow rate, which is not enough to flush the air through the vertical analyzer. What happens is the fluids make their path under the gas and flow downward through the gas filled analyzer 
without removing the gas, which stays in the analyzer. Again, a good measurement cannot be made. Static Mixer Issues Static mixers use the energy of the fluid flow to create mixing. In most designs, the geometry of the fixed plates alternate between a left-hand and a right-hand direction. High-velocity fluids will be sheared as the fluid attempts to change direction at the geometry change. Normal applications for the static mixers are in large pipelines where flow rates are large, but distances of the horizontal pipe are long. Over distances from one station to another, water will tend to drop to the bottom of the pipe. As it approaches a station where the oil and water percentage must be measured, this water must be remixed into the oil in order to obtain a representative sample in either mechanical sample systems or automatic real-time such as the phase dynamics. Since fluids in the pipelines are pumped, the velocities range between acceptable design limits for static mixers. In well test applications, many of our competitors must attempt to mix the oil and water because their area of measurement is so small. A static mixer works with high-velocity oil-water mixture. It is doing its job. As the velocity decreases for a given water percentage, the water starts to fall out and sit on the bottom, as if there was no mixer. Even at higher water percentages, the separation of the water and oil can be seen with the mixer in place. It can actually promote some further separation at this point. An analyzer capable of making excellent measurements must be installed properly. Visualization of the flow patterns in pipelines will assist in making proper selection of appropriate places to mount an analyzer. Your Phase Dynamics team will be pleased to assist in making the appropriate choices.